million cups of coffee are consumed around the world every day, and that makes coffee the most popular drink in the world, second only to water. In the U.S. alone, coffee is an industry worth more than $340 billion, but what goes into making that perfect cup? Students at San Jose State University are working to answer that question in a new chemistry course called The Design of Coffee. Here to tell us about it is the professor and creator of the course. We want to welcome Liette Rosenfeld to the show. She's an associate professor of chemical engineering at San Jose State. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Ali. Thanks for having me. Of course. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that to create a course like this, you must be a coffee drinker yourself. Um, so yeah, I am. Uh, I am a coffee drinker, um, and this idea has been going on for for um, quite a few years um, in our minds and the the way that we um, thought about about designing this class. Um, we definitely. Um, took advantage of UC Davis, who's been running um, a similar class for the past 10 years. So they were very generous in um, uh, providing us with their material, or the course material. Um, the one thing that we did uh, a little bit different is we made this course um, a general education um, um, credit, so the, the students can get general education, um, physical sciences, and lab um, credit for it. Um, and it, it is becoming very popular. It is the first semester that we are offering it. Um, it is at capacity right now with a very long wait list um, so that we're adding more and more sessions. And uh, I'm, we're looking at some of the video uh, that San Jose State provided of students enrolled and in, in doing some of the activities. What do students do as part of the course and what do you want them to learn? Right, so we basically teach um, principles of chemistry and physics and also engineering through roasting and brewing of coffee. Um, so we have lectures, so they have two lectures every week and then a, um, a one lab, one three-hour three lab, uh, during, which, during which time they will test whatever we taught that week. So for instance, we teach them um, mass transfer and we teach them um, flow through porous media or packed bed, which is actually the coffee bed. Um, and we teach them pressure driven flows. So that would be espresso. Um, so we teach them all these things and then they will test them. So they will test different aspects and how do they affect both the taste and also some um, actual measurements. That, so they will measure the pH and they will see how does that relate to the taste. If it tastes more sour or more bitter, how does that relate to the pH? Knowing, um, oh, Leah, knowing what you know, uh, having taught this course and going through this course, what, what is the most surprising factor that can influence the taste of coffee? What do you think makes it better, uh, given that you have all this chemical knowledge about the process? Um, so I think that one thing that is definitely underrated is the grind size, which affects um, has the most effect on the taste uh, because it does affect on the um, extraction, which is basically you, you, when you make coffee, you are extracting chemicals from the ground coffee into the water. Uh -huh. um, and when you change the grind size, you change your surface area and you change your extraction. So that is the one thing that will affect the most and the one thing that um, is not um, people do not consider it as, uh, as affecting that much. So does that mean, uh, you, is there a certain time you should grind it or how soon before you drink it? Should you grind it right before you drink it or fine grinds, thicker grinds? What do you think? Yeah, it's mostly the grind size and the, grind, and the, and the size distribution. Um, definitely you want to grind it, grind it as soon as you can before brewing so that it is fresh. Um, however, the grind size and, and the distribution distribution of the size um, also affect a lot. Um, also the time, so the exposure time, the, the, the more you wait, the more bitter your cup of coffee is going to be. Okay. So more, the more you extract, the more the, the molecules are going to become um, bitter. Good to know. Good advice there on how, uh, what we can learn from your chemistry course on design of coffee. Liat Rosenfeld, Associate Professor of Chemical Engineering at San Jose State. Thank you for telling us all about this course. Best of luck to your students this semester. Hope they learn a lot and ace the class. Thank you so much. <laughs>